Hello and thanks for joining me today. This is part 7 in our RHCSA practice exam uh, series. In the previous uh, video, we did look at deploy, configure, and maintain systems. This objective, that's what we considered in the previous video, which is part 6. Please do uh, watch part 6 if you've not. And in this video, we're going to look at manage basic uh, networking, this exam objective. And to do that, we've got uh, questions uh, to, 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 ans to answer. And then we also have uh, the server we're going to use. That's uh, node 1, the server, same server from previous uh, videos. If you're new to the channel, please do subscribe, yeah, give a thumbs up, uh, drop any comment if you have questions, and please do share with anyone you know uh, would benefit from this. So let's get started. First task is to ensure enable network services. Just ensure network services. Uh, network services starts at boots. That simple. It's uh, the network service on rail, uh, rail. 8, 9, and say rail 10, it's a network manager. So we'll do system CTL status network uh, network manager just to make sure, okay, it's running. But um, if you want to enable that, you do system CTL enable uh, now and uh, network manager. So if you have been asked to do this, um, dash dash now is important. I think I've said this in different, in the previous videos. It's important because when you reboot, it starts. So it says enable, it should start at uh, boot time. So if I hit enter, uh, that's it. So just repeat SMCTL status uh, network manager. So it's up and running. We are done with that task. The second task is to allow SSH and HTTP services using firewall D. So for this one, firewall CMD is the uh, is the is the tool firewall uh, firewall CMD. I mean, uh, then we can do firewall the firewall CMD. Uh, just list all firewall rules that you have. So the services that we have are. Uh, cockpit, DHCP client, HTTP, and SSH. This already has um, SSH, right, um, enabled, and uh, that is allowing HTTP and HTTP, HTTPD. If this were not there, or let's add another service, actually. So let's let's do firewall, firewall. Uh, <laughs> uh, firewall cmd add service so let's say we want to add nfs so firewall service add service nfs dash dash permanent here will add the the service permanently hit enter and you need to do firewall uh, firewall cmd uh, reload and that's it. So now we do firewall CMD uh, list all. So you can see NFS is now added. NFS. So let's add another service. Uh, firewall. Let's add uh, uh, RPC bind, which also works with uh, NFS. So firewall CMD uh, add service. We want to add. Uh, RPC bind. So RPC bind, we want to do that permanently. So permanent and then now firewall uh, firewall CMD uh, reload. Firewall CMD reload. So that's it. So if I do firewall CMD list all, it's going to be there. Uh, RPC. So it's same uh, because I have been using uh, uh, HTTP and SSH on this because right now this session you're seeing is an SSH session into the server so that wouldn't have been possible if it wasn't allowing SSH so that's why SSH is there. HTTP was uh, from a different video but yes that's how you add the same thing firewall CMD so let's say we want to uh, do firewalls uh, firewall CMD uh, add service 
and we specify HTTP, HTTP, which is already there. And we say permanent. You see, it's already enabled. So, uh, but yeah, it, it's successful, but it's, it's telling us that it's already enabled. That's it. And we can reload. So firewall, uh, firewall DM, CMD. Yeah, of course, my spelling of reload. Reload. Yeah, that's it. So we are done with that task. Um, the next one is static IP configuration. So first, let's check what's our IP address, uh, just so we know. First, our IP is 192.168.70.3. So this is automatically uh, assigned uh, uh, to this. is dynamically assigned via DHCP. I didn't set this up. I just uh, installed my server and allowed it to get an IP address automatically. Uh, my server is running on UTM. That's the hypervisor I'm using. So the interface is EMP0S1. So the exam question here is for us to assign a static IP to this and then use this gateway, this IP, and then this DNS. We should change the host name of this computer to node5.rcsa and we should set the DNS search domain to rel.server.com. So let's, there are, it's either we use NMCLI uh, for this. If I type NMCLI and just hit uh, enter, it's going to show like the uh, connections that are available. Or I can do NMCLI uh, connection show. It's going to show me the same output from ifconfig, but now we have the UID and then the name of the interface. Another option is to use NMTUI, the text, uh, you know, uh, user interface. NMCLI, as you've seen, then uh, TUI. I will go with NMTUI uh, for this. You will see why. It's pretty straightforward. So NMTUI, you have a beautiful UI and it interacts with the network manager. So a network manager text, uh, you know, user interface. So please select an option. What do you want to do? We want to ed edit a connection. And we've got just that connection uh, at the moment. So we want to... So I'm using... You, you can't see my uh, keyboard. It's just a tiny a, a tiny Apple <laughs> keyboard here. But uh, I'm using arrows. Uh, it doesn't matter what keyboard you're using. I'm just saying, uh, you know, uh, use arrow to navigate. So just edit. And you, now I'm, I'm pressing down arrow down. I want IPv4 configuration. It's now in automatic. I'll press uh, enter to then arrow down, down to go to manual. I want to set it to manual. Then side arrow go to show and come back down to enter the address. So um, we've been given the address. It's 172.16.1.10 slash 24. So that's, it means the subject mask of uh, uh, 255.255.255.0 slash 24, 8 bits, 8, 8 plus 8 plus 8. That's subnetting, that's IP addressing. If you do not understand this, then um, I don't know, just maybe drop a comment. I can do a very short video on IP address and subnet, IP addressing and subnetting. And yeah, but that's subnet mask. And so let's go. Uh, now we have then the gateway. Um, remember, I'm taking all this information from here, right? Uh, gateway. Let me enter the gateway. The gateway is just same IP, the first IP, dot one. So gateway is 172.16.1.1. And then uh, DNS server. Uh, DNS is the same, the first IP. So down, I hit enter. DNS server 172.16.1.1. And uh, what else? DNS servers. I am. I'm. I'm. I'm pressing down arrow to go down. So uh, DNS search domains. It says uh, search domain. Where is it? Uh, it's um, rel dot server dot com. Uh, don't worry about hostname. We'll do. We'll do hostname. You get. You see that? Uh, where is it? Search domain. So um, rel dot server. Uh, come back. Rel dot server. Dot, dot com. So if I go down, yes, of course it's showing, but I wasn't. Yeah, so rel.server.com, that's it. And 
and that's that's us done with uh, the IP config. Uh, there are options here, but you are not asked to do any, you know, uh, require IPv4. These are options that uh, will work with or without. Uh, we are not being asked to do IPv6 config, so it doesn't matter. So we go, you just, I'm using down arrow. Uh, okay. Now, if we go down to, then you go, come down and say, uh, back and we can set the host name here or set the host name from the terminal just uh, host name ctl uh, space set host set dash host name and you specify the host name but we can do it here we can just hit enter and set the host name the current host name is not node one dot home but we have been asked to set it to node five dot rhcsa so uh, let's just edit node, node five dot rhcsa that's all uh okay the host name you know has been set yes okay i want to do that and you say okay before that uh you go to activate a connection right because we have made changes activating a connection here is um restart is restarting is going to ask network manager so we're going to enable and disable it's like restarting the connection so if i hit enter that that's a connection we have it's currently activated so if i hit enter now it's going to deactivate that connection i have lost my connection to the uh, i have lost my connection to the server because the networking the uh, ip has changed and it's not on the same subnet as mine but let's log into the server and you see what what's happening so i want to log in as root and uh now I am in and you see the host name. If we say host name, sorry, the font for this is small. I uh, It's UTM and that's the main console. And I think this is one of the reasons why I usually SSH into the server so I can use my own, I use item from my MacBook, but uh, that's okay. Host name is set. And then the IP address, I have config. Uh, let's see what happened. The IP address is not there it did not set the ip why so we can do nmtui from here and and go to activate a connection oh yeah we deactivated it of course we deactivated it so now let's activate so now it's active uh since it is active we can now go back and click ok done now we can do if config yep and that's it that's the ip we assigned uh 172.16.1.0 and um the subnet mask slash 24 it's the 255.255.255.0 you're seeing then the broadcast address and host name we've set host name already and that's it so if you're using ssh you're going to lose your connection I didn't use the uh, console directly because you can see the font is too small and I don't want this to, you know, the way it's going to show in the video is, uh, it's not going to be, you know, appealing. Uh, this font is too small. In your exams, in the RHCSA exam, you will have access to the console directly so you can do this uh, without losing any connection to um, any SSH connection. And this task is very important because if you're if you if you do this the idea is that um if you set the ip properly that's the only time you get to ssh you'll be able to ssh into the server to do the other tasks you have been asked everything should persist to reboot so let's just let's just reboot and see what happens Hopefully, it will come back with um, the IP we just changed. Mm, okay, I want to log in as root with my password. Uh, I've config. Yeah, it's there. 172.1.10. Uh, this is the IP that we've been asked to do. And uh, hostname, DNS, everything. And that's it. Uh, if we do firewalls, <laughs> firewall CMD. Uh, list all you can see the things we added rpc 
uh, RPC, Bind, SSH, NFS, they are all there. So I would like to thank you for watching this. Uh, this is part seven. The next uh, video would be on the, this objective, manage users and groups, then manage security, containers, and we are done. We're almost there. So uh, thanks for watching and please do subscribe, uh, give a like, drop any comments, any question. Probably you use, you're used to using NMCLI. That's, that's fine. Your, your NMTUI. I think it's, it's, uh, it's, it's okay as well. So it's totally up to you. And just so uh, to add, I used NMTUI uh, in my own exams, in my own RHCSC exams, and it, it, it worked just fine. So uh, thank you. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.